Hello everyone. So today I am doing a sort of a mashup of a few different cups that were requested by Indelicate Pinay, a fellow Filipina. Um, and the cups that I'll be covering are the Lunette, the Lady Cup, the Yuki, the Eva, the Ruby Cup, the Lena Cup, and the Flare Cup. So I have some video um, of a like a squish test um, and the others are, are slideshows of different, um, like the capacity, the price, and whatnot. So uh, thank you to Indelicate Pinai for requesting this. I'm going to do this comparison between these um, cups that you requested, uh, all in large since I have all of them in a large, um, and I only have four of the small ones that you uh, asked about. So here I'm going to do from softest to firmest. Um, I know that in my video for my softest to firmest cup, uh, the Eva cup beat out the Lady cup. I just want to note that um, this blue cup, which is the Eva cup, is uh, over a year old, so it's had many use. Uh, I usually use it at least a couple times during um, during my my period, so I grab for it often, and so it's a little softer than um, the other Eva cup that was in um, that comparison video previously. Um, so the purple was brand new, it was never used, and it just had a little bit um, more stiffness to it. Uh, and so in this particular video, uh, my Eva cup is softer than my Lady cup. So I'm gonna just hold them up for you first, um, and I'll do this with each cup. And then I will do a... Um, squish test so inside the Eva inside the lady cup and also the rims here are the uh, lady cup and the flare cup inside the lady cup and inside the flare cup and the rims the flare cup and the ruby cup this is a size medium which right now is the larger of the two sizes that they offer. Inside the flare cup and inside the ruby cup. And the rims. the ruby and the lunette inside the ruby cup and inside the lunette and the rims
the Lunette and the Yuki Soft. Inside the Lunette and inside the Yuki. and the rims. The Yuki Soft and the Lena Cup. inside the Yuki and inside the Lena and the rims Earlier last week, you um, had asked me about some of the, the grip rings on some cups, so I'm just going to go ahead and show all of these cups up close to you. Um, these cups have been sitting in my cup box, and they're just picking up a whole bunch of lint, and I didn't wash them, so I'm sorry about that. So this is the Lady Cup, and you can see that there's just bumps on it, and they're not raised. You can see off to the side that they're not raised right here. It goes all the way around the cup on the bottom. I'm sorry, I don't have a stem for this cup. Actually, I do, but I don't, my daughter has it, and I don't know where she keeps her cups. So um, I feel like these bumps don't really give a hand in gripping too much, but this silicone is um, a peach skin finish and so when I pinch down on it and pull my fingers don't slide off of it easily and I'll go ahead and do that with each of the cups that I'm going to talk about. Next is the Eva cup and I do have a stem on my small so there's four grip rings on it. It's a short stem, good flexibility uh, a little squishy and so there are three grip rings here that go all the way around the cup and then there's four lines that come down. They're not raised a whole bunch and they did round them off. So pinching the silicone and pulling, my fingers slide fairly easy over that cup. Here is the ruby cup, and I don't have one with a stem on it. I'm sorry about that. There are three uh, grip rings that go around the cup. And uh, it's well raised but they uh, smoothed out any of these edges so there's a nice transition between all of those. It's all rounded. More of a slippery cup. Here's the lunette and I do have a stem on that on my small 
three grip rings. Pretty firm when you pinch it this way. It's got good flexibility though. So it looks like they tried to keep um, these fairly rounded off and smooth, but because they're so thin, um, it, it didn't, it, it kind of feels more rigid than you would think, um, or more rigid than maybe they expected. I don't know, but I know that you can feel these pretty well. They're pretty raised. It does give a good grip though. I do know that some people are very sensitive to this when I've read people say that those those grip rings do hurt and the stem hurts them too. Um, the stem didn't hurt me but it was irritating after a while and I just went ahead and chopped it off. So kind of a smooth silicone. Um, I guess I should have been a little bit more organized on my table here. I wasn't sure which ones I had already done. Um, so this is the Yuki cup and I do have the small with the stem. It's got four grip rings on it and it is hollow. So here's my large. There are four grip rings on this, and they're pretty well raised. Gives a good sound. Um, they're a little thicker than the ones on the lunette, the, the grip rings on the lunette. And because they're thicker, it seems like uh, it doesn't feel as harsh as the lunette does. Good grippiness to the silicone. Here is the the Lena cup, and there's three grip rings on that tab stem or stick stem. I'm sorry. It's got a little bit of squishiness this way. Good flexibility. I was actually surprised that this stem didn't bother me, and this is a large. Um, there's three grip rings right under that, and they're raised pretty well, and they they have an edge on it, a lip on it, if you will. Um, when I push my fingers up this way, it kind of grabs onto my fingers, uh, and not as much when I uh, bring them down over it like this. You can see how raised they are. You see what I'm talking about? There's that little lip under it. It doesn't flex underneath my finger like the Schoon um, grip rings do, but it just still has that lip that might be irritating to some people. And it's a fairly slippery silicone. It looks like it would be a peach skin, um, grippy silicone, but it's not. And last I have the uh, flare cup. And it has a stick style stem, four grip rings on it. And you can see right away that those are really raised off of that stem. I would hack it off. Um, if I were going to use this cup regularly, it's really firm when I try to pinch down on it. It moves okay this way. This way has a little bit more resistance because it is a, um, a solid piece of silicone. It didn't bother me as much as I thought it would, but it, it still it, it wouldn't be my favorite to keep on. So this one uh, has broken rings around, or the grip rings are, are broken, 
and it gives a really good sound. They're, they're pretty well raised off of the cup, and it does have that lip like the Lena cup. So if I bring my fingers down, Actually, I was going to say if I bring my fingers down, I don't feel it as much as when I go up. And, and yeah, I would say yes. I, I don't feel it as much going down as I do going up, but I can still feel them pretty well when I um, brush my fingers over it like that. And it's a slippery silicone. And there's all of the grip rings and the stems if I had them. Hopefully I covered something that you had questions about. If not, please feel free to contact me again. You found me on Twitter already. Um, you can leave a comment here on YouTube or you can find me on Facebook as well and PM me or leave it on my wall. It doesn't matter. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm so sorry again about... Um, the delay in replies, uh, my my uh, YouTube wasn't leaving me notifications that I was getting comments on the videos. So everybody that I missed or took forever to contact back, I'm very, very sorry about that. I'm also sorry that I didn't have um, the size small in these cups that you originally requested. I don't normally buy the smalls and in, in I usually only get the larges, but I do end up buying some of the smalls, but just not all of the cups. Um, so I apologize for not being able to do a comparison just of the smalls. Hopefully the larges um, were sufficient enough to take their place. Uh, and I think that's about it. So until next Tuesday when I make another upload video, uh, take care. If you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons, or personal reviews, please check out my channel, give my videos a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.